Joe Stone here. Thanks for checking out Stone Cold Mental. This is a five volume book set that is about 15 to 20 years in the making. It's everything mentalism that I've ever come up with and it's all captured in these five books. Each book has 10 effects along with three bonus ideas along with access to a bunch of apps. And we're gonna take a look at all that stuff right now. In addition to the 10 effects and the three bonus ideas, you also get access to this website for volume two. You click on this gem here, and in the book there are QR codes that'll take you directly to specific pages. So let me show you some of the quick things first that you're gonna get. Patio two and words are both, and I think luck, are just video clips from my Penguin lecture performance showing you a routine. So it's from the same video, but they're different parts of the video. Uh, so Patio 2, this is me showing you one of my effects, my superhero thing. Uh, this is uh, my closer, and this is my dictionary test. So that's what those are. The tarot is in the book, volume 2 here. There is a routine that uses this little book of life thing here, and you can actually view it and download and print it out here. Um, you can also go to this how to construct these flat boxes here, and you can also see a video performance of one of the effects in the book and then if we go to spirits these are some images that are used for one of the tricks you can download and again there's a link to, to building that flat box and here's just a quick video of me showing how the prophecy move works and so these are some of the smaller things right uh, the ESP thing here's a little move I do with the deck of ESP cards which sounds weird to do moves with ESP cards so that's what that is so when you go to the nine here, the trick in the book is actually a, a really cool take on an old idea that actually is, it fools magicians. And this is related to it. It's just sort of an extra bonus thing I threw in there for you. It's a little booklet you can print out or a little piece of paper that you can give out that teaches kids magic tricks. And I give it to them in my kids shows. Also, there's some video performances of other people doing this old idea. So you can kind of see a sort of a performance of it. Okay, so that's... The majority of this stuff here then the big one here is wordlets this is a trick in the book and i'll tell you what the trick is it's just a uh, you you can see on this little icon right here the these little wordle cards they're little cards you print out that's what the backs look like and then the fronts look like this they have words on them and it's a mind reading effect and you have them think of a word and you tell them what the word is well it uses the the old binary sort procedure and what you have here is this this is a video so if you click that button it's a video that teaches you how to use this app and I'll talk about what the apps are in a second and that button teaches you how to use that one that button teaches you how to use that one and so forth down the line so what these are in the book I specifically meant use a specific list of wordle words and right here you can print those words exactly out from the book and you can choose how many words do you want to do a 30 uh, 63 31 or 15 do you want to do pocket size do you want to do stage do you want to do lowercase uppercase or proper case and so we can just view it here so we'll view the 63 lowercase and this is exactly what you'll get right this is the backs if you print this in your printer following the instructions that are in that video then it'll print out these cards perfectly you cut them out and i've got your little set of cards here right and if you want to do just 31 and view it it's just a smaller list as you can see here it also prints out your crib sheet and everything okay so those are the pre-made words and if you want to do the stage size we'll do 31 stage size here and you can see there they are there's big ones that print out nicely all right so that's the default set of words that are mentioned in the book but you can do this one where you do random world cards right and so you can just if I just click generate, don't do anything else, it just generates some random Wordle cards. Now these are not what the printouts look like. The printout is here, of course. That's the printout here. But I just want to show you on here, these are the words. These are random words. If I go back to random words and I do it again, we get a different set of words. In fact, I can just refresh the page and we'll get different sets of words, right? So that's what happens if you go to the random but the other thing is you can tell it don't show words that have these letters like maybe you want to exclude weird letters like X K Z like you can see there as an example you can also make sure all the letters 
start with a specific letter. All the words start with a specific letter. So I only want words that start with S. We do that, and bam, everything starts with an S there, right? Okay, so that's the random one. That's just going to pull from the Wordle database, right? But you can also make custom ones. And you might recognize this as the old binary, you know, the, the magic age thing, right? So I'm just going to copy that for a minute and paste in those numbers 1 through 63. This is the one that you're probably familiar with. And so we can even type in here magic age. You can change the colors of the font. So we'll make the font blue and we'll make the border color blue. Why not? And then you can come over here and choose a little icon to be on the back. So maybe we'll just put like a Q on there. And then we'll do pocket size, lowercase, because well, it's numbers, it won't matter. Generate, and these are what the cards will look like right here. Magic Age training cards or testing cards. And these are the numbers on here. And so you hold up the card and you say, is your age on this card? Is it on that card? And if you know how that binary sorting procedure works, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it's all explained in the book, of course. But it doesn't have to be the numbers, right? That was just me giving you an example of something you've probably seen before. If you want, for example, I can put in some rock bands here. I'm only going to do 15. You notice it even tells you here you have to do either 15, 31, or 63. That's just the way the binary sort works, and it's explained in the book. And so we'll call this Metal Mind Reading. Something like that, and of course we got to make everything black, right? Because metal is black. We'll put a skull on there, and we'll do the pocket size. And ooh, interesting. I think I have one too many there. This gives me a nice little error message. There we go. And the cards will look like this. They're all black, and they got the metal, right? So you can control these and, and make these custom to whatever you want. And there's a bunch of icons in here, as you can see, that let you choose what you want to choose here. So, and uh, you know, over time, I may add some more icons to it or whatever, but there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here with it. So I showed you the random ones. I showed you this. Is, and again, the book explains this a little bit more in detail. And then the videos, of course, that come with this, this on the home page of Wordlet right here, explain it all in depth as well. There's also this alphabet card thing, one of the effects in the book you can print out little alphabet it's part of the wordle thing and so you can print out these little alphabet cards and it shows you if you want to do something like pages per sheet like oh we'll do eight or six there so that it will print the cards that size you can do you know 16 or whatever and you get them this size so you get smaller ones so it shows you how to do that in the video that comes with the app there so this is a lot of stuff and this, this is all just for volume two 10 effects, three bonus ideas, plus all of this stuff. That's volume two. Well, there you have it. That's what you get with Stone Cold Mental volume two. Thank you as always for supporting my work and I'll leave you with these parting words. Why be boring when you can be Stone Cold Mental? <laughs>